What's going on YouTube? It's Angus coming at you today with a cool, fun-themed, content-based video that I hope will add some value to your journey. I'm going to be teaching today basically a concept behind fuck mill plans so that you can understand why they're not going to be the basic, well, you know, <laughs> solution to all your problems and a much better way to go about things instead. So the scenario basically to sum it up, when it comes to you pumping you know, dollars into buying meal plans online, right? understand that what you're basically doing is buying into someone's rules and restrictions because well, let's face it, every single meal plan that you're ever gonna buy or diet that you're ever gonna do or short term shred that you're ever gonna do will be filled with specific rules, restrictions, foods that are labeled as good, foods that are labeled as bad, um, certain times that you need to eat, that sort of thing. So, you see what I mean here? Like that's what you're buying into every single time that you do a meal plan. Now I don't know about you, but um, life has got shit on all the time. And what I mean by this is that, well, you're not gonna live the same day, day in, day out. So therefore it doesn't make sense to try and build your results off of a specific rigid meal plan. Um, so let's say for example that you work nine to five, um, you know, you've got uh, the gym, you've got all this other shit on and you like to be social and stuff like that, right? So it doesn't make sense to build your results off of a specific routine and rigidity when it comes to food. Your biggest asset to being able to dominate fat loss and in a way that is flexible and enjoyable for you is learning to be able to, well, stick to what matters most but have as much variety and flexibility up your sleeve so that you don't have to buy into the specific rules. So let me explain. Um, what matters most for when it comes to fat loss is basically overall calories, understanding how thermodynamics work, and being on point with consuming adequate macronutrients and micronutrients. And the cool thing is, is that once you get a graph around this sort of shit, right, you're in an awesome position of control and power to be able to basically choose the foods that you want to eat on a day-to-day -day basis to be able to meet those specific targets, right? Cool scenario. And basically, once you get a deeper understanding of this sort of stuff, well, then if you really want to, you can actually be in a scenario where you utilize a tracking app like MyFitnessPal on your phone, right? And can actually plan the foods that you personally want to eat ahead of time for the day or as many days ahead as you want because, well, hey, well, why not, right? Because the thing is, is that it doesn't necessarily matter 100% the foods that you eat. Obviously, food quality is important and you need to give a shit about food quality to ensure that you're getting in enough baseline protein, enough baseline micronutrients, um, you know, fiber and stuff like that, right? But ultimately, it's like, well, the biggest thing that contributes to fat loss is dialing in in terms of quantity, right? Eating enough overall calories, but then the fun scenario here is that you can be flexible in terms of what foods you want to eat to be able to meet those targets and provided you're consistent, hey, fucking boom, you're gonna be losing body fat, happy days, you know, smiles for everybody, right? So to reiterate why this is so important to understand is that every time that you buy into a meal plan, you're buying into someone's specific rules. You must eat at those specific times, eat those specific foods, whatever it might be, right? That's what you're buying into and what you're signing up and selling your soul to, right? Irrespective of whether it's Ashy Bynes, fucking Kai Green, um, even Omate Callum Von Moga could be, you know, Kayla Ed Signs. Like, it doesn't matter what it is. All these meal plans and different stuff like that will work because they'll put you into a calorie deficit. So those who truly win this game are the ones who don't stop and start jumping from diet to diet. It's the ones who learn how fat loss actually works, how thermodynamics and energy in versus energy out works, and therefore making conscious food decisions on a day-to-day -day basis in terms of what you want to eat to meet your personal food targets. And this is something that I teach my personal clients as part of my online coaching and in my fat loss groups that I have and in the, any of the links below, if you click on the, um, the video description, you can see some of the things that I offer. But basically what I'm so passionate about teaching people is educating them how this actually works so that fat loss can be fun. Because the thing is, is that if you're not enjoying doing the work, you're gonna struggle to adhere. And if you can't adhere and you're stopping and starting all the time, well, welcome to the pushing up hill scenario, roller coaster results, and basically just getting nowhere. So, hey, do me a favor. If you found this video valuable and uh, you want to see more stuff like this, comment below and let me know your biggest takeaway. And obviously, if you're new to the channel and you want to see more content-based stuff and obviously random other videos and stuff like that as well, make sure you hit subscribe. And if you're keen to share in my journey in terms of, well, what it's like for me to apply this sort of stuff that I teach, connect with me at the social links below. You can follow along and get even more value from me. Thanks so much for checking out this video. See you next time in the YouTube world. Peace.